Have you checked your bank account in the last few days? You may have noticed some extra money. If so, good for you. But for millions of Americans, a second stimulus check has already been directly deposited, but not for everyone. Tonight, investigative reporter Brian New taking a close look at why you may have not received a stimulus check yet and what you can do about it. The checks may be smaller this time, $600 per person, but the IRS promises this second round of payments will go out faster. They are focused on speed above all else. But Texas A&M University Law School tax expert Bob Probasco says if your check hasn't arrived, don't worry, just yet. The biggest reason people have not received their checks by now is the IRS is still in the process of sending out paper checks as well as payments on debit cards. The other main reason you may not have seen a check is because of your income. Lawmakers lower the income threshold this time with a cutoff for even a reduced payment at $87,000 for a single person and $174,000 for a married couple. I think some things will go a lot smoother because of the lessons that they learned from the problems they had the first go round. But Probasco says the speed in which the IRS is sending out these checks is causing other issues. If you recently changed bank accounts or moved, the IRS says there is no way or time to update your information. You will simply have to wait until you file your taxes to claim the credit. You may also run into an issue if your 2019 tax return is a part of a backlog of paper returns that the IRS still has not processed. As of Thanksgiving, there were still about 7 million tax returns for 2019 that have not been processed by the IRS. Without a processed tax return, the IRS will not be sending out a check. Probasco says if this happens to you, you too will have to wait until you file your taxes to get your money. If you haven't received your stimulus check, the IRS says don't call them, but it has relaunched its online Get My Payment tool where you can check the status of your check. We have a link to that and more information on our website at cbsdfw.com. In Frisco, Brian New, CBS 11 News.